Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. My name is Jacqueline and on this channel, I do budget related videos. If those sort of videos interest you, I do hope that you consider subscribing. Okay guys, so in today's video, we are gonna be doing my weekly and stuffing for week three and four for the month of January. Um, typically, I like to record these once a week, but lately, how my life has been set up, it hasn't been going that way, <laughs> but um, this today we're going to be doing two weeks as opposed to one week. So before we um, show my planner, <laughs> I can't speak, I do want to take a sip of my sparkling water. Today I have a bubbly from, I got this from Target, and I'm going to take a sip. <sighs> so good. I use a plump paper monthly planner. This is where I lay down my stickers and do my weekly check-ins. And I keep track of all of my spending in this budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom. I also keep track of my checking account and my um, budget on in this booklet. So I'm gonna keep this off to the side. That way I know what days to lay down my stickers. Let's open up to my January spread. We are checking in from the 12th through the 25th. I have my stickers in the back here. I don't have my tweezers with me, but it's okay. I'll just lay these down as I go. Ooh, we this is almost falling. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my eating out category. My first eating out was on the 14th. I went to Starbucks and I spent 6.40. The next eating out was on the 17th. I spent a total of $9. The 19th, I went to get some coffee and I spent $5.81. I went to Starbucks on the 20th and I spent a total of $6.40. I went to Dunkin' on the 21st and I spent a total of $3.43. I spent a lot of money eating out this week because I did not go food shopping because I was taking Dustin back to my mom's on Wednesday and then I stayed overnight and I drove back Thursday in the morning to go to work and then I drove back to her house on Saturday morning so it was just an off week and I also had a dentist appointment on Monday so I just did not have time to go food shopping so I did a lot of eating out this week. On the 22nd, I spent a total of $12.62. On Tuesday, the 23rd, this lunch right here, oh my gosh, was $18.02. You guys, I went to Moe's. I am not going back to that place. All I got was a burrito, chips, which is free, but the queso that they give is like $3. The, the burrito was like 11 and then I got a drink. For 18 bucks and it wasn't even all that great either so I won't be going back there anytime soon okay the next spending was lunch and breakfast so breakfast and lunch on the 24th I spent a total of 19.29 and then the 25th I went to lunch and I spent a total of oops wrong place right here I spent a total of 14.03 all right so that is it for my eating out categories for my spending I'm going to do the same thing that I did my last weekly check-in which again I will say it now because I did spend a lot of money this past month on safety keychains Etsy so instead of me taking this money out of my bonus which I was going to do I'm going to take it out of my $80 allowance that I give myself every paycheck until I pay everything back. And I'm gonna try my hardest to not spend any additional money, unless it's money that I give myself from my bonus. Okay, so let's continue. So the first um, spending, again, this is not money I spent this day. I'm gonna be um, laying down stickers for like Zip, Klarna, um, a firm I already put it down here, but it's basically 
I originally did a purchase and then every like two weeks they charge my credit card so that's what these amounts are okay so on the 12th there was a total of 36.04 on the 18th it was 11.06 because I did not spend this money this day like I didn't make this purchase on this day I'm gonna count this day as a no spend because it's just kind of like a bill so my original you know spending with whatever day I bought this on was when I counted it as a spend day so um, the next spending category or the next spending was a zip so this one right here I well I sp spent money on the 19th anyway this is the first installment out of four so this was like my initial purchase of this particular order and on my, um, you know what? No. So the 12th here, one of these was my first purchase. So I'm not, I have to count this as a spend day. But the 18th wasn't. This was actually four of four. So I was paying off that one. That's the last charge for 1106, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay, so the next one, let me turn my page. The next one was Klarna. And that was on the 21st and that was for 1976 so see here so this was one installment and this was another I, I think this was the last one on the 22nd I spent 2202 okay that's good the next one I have one on the 23rd this was between some candy off a of TikTok and zip was 57.64 and the last one was on the 25th and this was the last installment of this particular purchase for 16.24 the next category is going to be compra which is groceries i went to trader joe's on the 25th and i spent 45.05 i went to target on the 22nd I bought myself some water and some sparkling ice drinks that came out to 1613. I went to Trader Joe's on the 12th and I spent a total of 598. And then I went to Trader Joe's on the 17th and I spent a total of 5248. My next spending is going to be gas. So I got gas on the 17th and I spent a total of $38. And then I got gas on the 24th and I spent a total of $23. Now I'm gonna put down stickers to represent days that I spent for my sinking funds. So the first one was from Dustin. I bought food for him on the 14th and then on the 16th I bought something off of Etsy so I'm taking that from support a friend I went to the dentist on the 22nd so that was a copay and I think that is it all right so I had one no spend so that was on the 15th so let me put that sticker down All right, so now that I've laid down all of my stickers, oh, the 13th, what did I spend money on the 13th? I just realized that I don't have anything there. Um, hmm. All right, so it looks like I have a no spend on the 13th as well. That's good to know. Okay, so now that I've laid down all of my stickers, I'm going to go ahead and start calculating this and putting it inside of my weekly check-in. Okay, we're going to start off with eating out. I spent a total of $95.
spending is next. I spent a total of, uh, I spent a total of 150.73. I'm going to round this up to 151. Compra is next. I spent a total of 119.64, so I'm going to round that up to 120. Gas is next. I spent a total of 61. So now that I've done my weekly check-in, I'm going to go ahead and open up to the page where I list my four categories plus my sinking funds and we're going to start on stuffing my envelopes. We're going to start off with my revolving cash. I spent a total of 95 and I have 50 here, 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. my overage I'll just take it from my um, groceries category okay so spending I'm gonna pull all of this out as you saw on my check-in I spent a total of 151 but I'm only gonna pull out 80 and this is gonna go towards my spending so that's 20 40 50 60 5 75 76 7 8 9 80 so each paycheck I'm gonna take this money and apply it towards my spending and try my best to not spend additional. Compra, which is groceries, I need to take out 120. So that's 50, 120. And I overspent in eating out by $45. So I'm gonna take it out of this um, right here. So let's see. Mm, I think this is, I think this should be 45. Let's see. 20, 35, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, that is correct. And I have, I have a total of $20 left. I'm going to go ahead and roll over 10 to my savings challenges and then 10 into my compra. Gas, I spent a total of 61. So that is 20, 40, 61 dollars. Gas has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 101, 2, 3, 4. I don't need all this money in here. I will transfer, let's see. I want to put some money in towards my savings challenges. I'll leave 30. So the rest will be rolled over to my savings challenges. Cell phone, I need to take out 50. So we have 20, 45, and 50. Okay, Dustin, I need to take out total of $268. So it's going to be 104. This is towards his food, which was 41, and then his bills, which was 63. And then 164 is going towards his daycare. I need a total of 235, but the remaining 71, I'll get it from my next um, cash stuffing. Okay, so let's just make sure that in this envelope here, I have a total of 268. So we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 
We're going to go over to support a friend and pull 27, which is, I believe, everything in this envelope. So that's 10, 25, 26, and 27. And this is going to go towards my spending. We're going to go to my high priority and pull 118 from my medical. So that's 51, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Medical now has 1, 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 185. All right, that is all of my stuffing. I'm going to go ahead and tally this up here and see how much I should have in this stack here. I should have around $819. Let's just double check. I hope I do. <laughs> Let me get my calculator so I can make sure that I calculate this right. So we have 51, 152, 253, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have exactly $819. That is amazing. All right, let me just get my bank. Um, where is, you know what? I'm gonna put it inside of this little makeup bag. And this is gonna go back to the bank so I can pay my credit card. And this money here is rollover that's gonna be put inside of my Saving challenges. So let's see how much I have total. I have 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 81, 2, 3, 4. So that's $84. I'm going to go ahead and put this inside of this binder. And that, my friends, is the end of this video. I am so excited to finally be caught up. That way I can pay my credit card and my statements are about to close um, over the weekend. So I want to make sure that I deposit this money and make a payment tomorrow. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it and leave me some sort of like candle or light emoji or lightning bolts of some sort. If you are not already subscribed, do please consider subscribing. I don't know if I already said that. I'm a little tired right now, <laughs> but you guys take care. Have an amazing morning, day, or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.